Ho, ho, ho! So it's the Santa's Office Christmas Party today, Mad Friday as it's called in the UK, and we'll be having very many cheers, and the elves will be rather drunk, I do believe. But before all the frivolities, we need to look at day number six's box, which is... Tile Generator Node! Thank you, Santa! Not sure if they call it Mad Friday in Iceland or Lapland, wherever he's from, but uh, they certainly do in the UK, so there'll be quite a few sore heads tomorrow. But anyway, today let's have a look at the Tile Generator. Now this can be found within the pattern section of uh, the sidebar. Uh, I've just dragged one into here. Now this is a great tile, uh, sorry, sorry, great node for creating tiling generators, as it says on the tin. So the first thing that we can look at, um, if we double click, you can see we start off with a generic kind of tiled grid. But obviously with the parameters on the right hand side, we can start to change things such as we can change in the X coordinate the amount of uh, times it tiles also in the Y coordinate as well so if you want more uh, small tiles you can do that as well but you can also for example start making some really crazy kind of things so you can kind of just have bars across or make it really small and have like kind of like um, interference lines or something like that uh, you can also change just bring this back down a little uh, the uh, the middle size so the horizontal so you can start to move those as well as well as the vertical so this is quite useful so if we do the vertical and increase that you can start to get quite quite nice different designs yeah, you can change the scale uh, of the of the middle as well so if you want less grout in there that's possible scale variation for each one this is useful if you're kind of making some sort of brick wall so you can have slight variations on each brick same as the scale uh, variation seed as well so you give a bit of random sizes there uh, luminance by scale variation as well the true Interstice, this is, as you can see on the X, we're starting to get more of the grout in the X, and it's the same for the Y with a variation slide as well. Um, we've got the offset, so if you want to make that tiling brick wall or something different, you can get the correct way that the bricks are lined up, or you can get a random offset, uh, obviously, random offset seed as well. There's quite a few parameters in this one, so we've got vertical offset. So that's quite interesting as well if you're kind of doing a tiling floor or something like that. And then you've got the global offset, but it still tiles, as you can see, in the X and the Y. Uh, luminance by number, so you can also start to get some different lumination values within to the node. So if you're putting that into a normal map, that would be more sunk and that would be higher. So it's kind of like a curb there, where it's, and then it starts to raise back up again. So just turn that off for now. You've got the luminance variation contrast, so you could do that per tile or per brick. And then you can even change the, the pattern type. So you can have an image input if you've already got an image, and that will be plugged into there, grayscale image, that you could use as um, a tiling image. You've got the square, disk, paraboloid, and it continues. So you can really make some interesting designs. You can make some sort of tread plate with uh, certain ones. And it's really good to get in there and just experiment. So you've got the free rotation, free rotation random. Fixed rotation, fixed rotation, random. And then there's Quincunx flip. Um, not quite sure what that one does. Uh, I've not quite used that myself. Position random. I mean, there's so many uh, parameters that you can tweak in here. You could just make some really crazy, interesting designs. Checker masks, horizontal masks, vertical masks. They, they, it just goes on and on. And then a random mask that would be useful, perhaps if you had stones and you want to break up uh, the random, well, give more randomization to them, break up the uniform. Um, invert mask. And then you got the blending modes, so you can have a max blending mode or an add sub. Normally, I use the max so that they keep separate. And um, you've also got a background color, but you can also put in a background color there as well. And global opacity. As you can see, it's changing the opacity of them all at once. And as before, I've got a node here, so I can plug that into the diffuse so you can kind of see it there. And using from day one again, the height normal blender, we can plug that into there as well. And you can just see then we're starting to get a normal map. So as you can see, really useful for tread plate or something like that, metal uh, metal walkways or something. Um, you can do some really interesting things. 
So I hope this one is quite useful, but as I say, there's quite a few parameters, so there's a lot to experiment with, but it's definitely worth a look. My, my, how many parameters was that? Probably more than the presents I will be delivering on Christmas Eve. Well, if you are having a Christmas party, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow for day seven. Ho, 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 ho.